the Segway Robotics team has arrived in San Francisco ahead of a crucial delivery, which has special meaning to the team. We are in Silicon Valley. We're preparing for a delivery tomorrow. Intel has been a key supporter since the very inception of the project. It's been more than a year now, so it's good to be back. Now, they are about to present the Lumo Alpha Developer Edition. I'm doing a little bit more preparation so that the uh, delivery can be perfect. Uh, so this is in, we're at Intel headquarters, the Robert Noyes Building, named after our founder of, of the company. The collaboration between the Segway Robotics team and Intel Perceptual Computing team uh, has been pretty tight. I had the privilege of uh, starting this project at Intel where our dream was that we would have built technology that would enable machines to sense and understand the world and interact with humans. Um, and that's how we got started with uh, Intel RealSense technology. Um, as we build uh, this product over the last few years, we're starting to partner with uh, innovative systems companies like Segway Robotics. It's not in a perfect state and will fail sometimes. Hello, Numo. Hmm. I think there is indeed a bug. Still need a lot of uh, debugging and troubleshooting and stuff. Okay, okay Numo. No. <laughs> it's not supposed to be work all well because we are still in the early stage of the integrated experience. But integration is very hard. This is where we are now. Okay, Lumo. True innovation can encounter unforeseen problems. So another reason for launching an alpha developer edition is to pick the brains of the best partners and to incorporate early feedback. The human perceptual system is enormously complicated. When we want to build machines to be able to do that, then you understand how complicated it is. Hello, Hi, Sarah. Andrew. How are you? you? Great seeing you. Hi. I think it's profound. We have all been used to segways, but now you see segway that can sense and understand the world and navigate by itself. It can follow you around. It can take your pictures. It's been a quite an impressive journey. All right. Now it's all yours. It shows the promise of how the robotics is going to be revolutionized. It's quite amazing to see it work. OK, Lumo, follow me. When you look at that robot, and when I start to think what's inside, it's groundbreaking technology inside. Additional hardware would be a projector. Yeah, potentially. That's what we're thinking right now. But all of that needs to be packaged in a way that comes across as very simple and usable uh, by the consumer. And the art is in uh, making it appear like it's really simple to use. What I would call out as special for Sega Robotics is that they just didn't build uh, an intelligent robot, but they made a developer kit out of it with an open platform. This unique platform enables software developers to enhance all aspects of the robot. Well, OpenCV has had an enormous impact on the software developers to be able to use open source computer vision libraries and incorporate them into their prototypes and, and even products. The team felt encouraged by the words of Achin. He is a highly respected leader and a board member of OpenCV, the largest computer vision community in the world. I think we got a lot of very useful, very helpful feedbacks from the developers. I think it went well. Uh, we sh showcased a number of uh, potential consumer apps we built from the SDK. I'm really, really proud of the team. What they have done in the past one and a half years, really, very really hard work. We did everything we could. Yeah. Mm. Yes, we have more and more. Yeah. More and more. I think they're making a fundamental contribution to the world of robotics to bring the technology to, to life. Developers are going to see how brilliant system that this is. They've done a fabulous job. We would like to have many, many talented partners to make Lumo a better and better bot. Once we have this into the hands of the developers, they're going to come up with many more uh, ideas that will enhance the system capabilities beyond what we can dream right now. We 
Nuo has already received the invitation from NASA team for further discussions about taking it to Mars and to Moon.